The Fox Texas trio is back. Rudy Koski, you get the first take at this. Now, Republicans, they wanted impeachment. They got their wish. Will voters care more about the impeachment of the DHS secretary or will they care about a no deal in Congress? Stephen, I don't think most voters know who Mayorkas is, so the impeachment trial will most likely be a short-run political theater production in the Senate. So, uh, barring Greg's word there. Uh, what I'm hearing is hardline Republicans and Democrats will watch the trial, and they will not be the deciding factor in the November election. Moderates and independents, they're going to be the key, right? Uh, that's why we're already seeing the Democrats trying to spin the failed Senate border plan into something that it's not. But Republican strategists seem to be worried about that spin, that it's working. I'm hearing that right now. And that GOP party leaders are too focused on Trump as well as being obsessed with destroying each other, like right here in Texas, where Congressman Chip Roy has even been called a rhino. So uh, it's uh, makes more than, you know, it's enough to make your head spin with uh, political vertigo. <laughs> Greg, Republicans called for a border bill. They got one. They didn't like it. Will that hurt them? Look, Stephen, it's become a reality of contemporary American politics that no one gets any points from the radicalized base of either party for crafting or supporting anything that resembles compromise. It's all or nothing. Anything less is labeled a betrayal and a sellout. Now, that said, Congressman Roy has a point because the proposal which emerged from the Senate made very little, if any, change to current Biden policy. In other words, it increased funding for border security, but didn't shut a door that's been more or less wide open for the past three years. Even Republicans who were initially willing to consider interim progress over perfection openly criticized the Senate proposal as just a head fake by the president who has no intention of stopping illegal immigration. And gentlemen, that just feeds the so-called replacement theory alleged by many on the hard right who claim Democrats are importing future support as they lose more and more American blue collar workers. Rudy, Democrats picked up a congressional seat, it being a special election, albeit, but they picked up a seat in New York, a seat that turned red two years ago. And one of the main topics was the border. Should this worry Republicans that a Democrat won a seat? You know, Stephen, a special election is a different kind of animal. You know, there were a lot of factors in that race beyond the typical low voter, voter turnout that happens. First of all, the Democrat who won was a very familiar name to the voters there. And the political stink that Santos left behind was so bad, I don't even think Santa Claus as a Republican candidate would have won that race. Here's the red flag, which I touched on a moment ago. The top GOP issues remain crime, education, the border. The Democrats are now trying to flip the border narrative. The New York race looks like a good test run for them with their candidate saying he most likely will be a border hawk and the Republican who lost spoke out against that Senate border plan. The Democrats are also still trying to attract moderates. They're doing a good job attracting independents, doing a good job, saying Republicans have gone too far on abortion. So I'm hearing alarm bells going off within the GOP, Stephen, big alarm bells. Greg, really quick, is New York a predictor of what's to come or is it unique? Stephen, here's what I'll say. When a Democrat runs away from the Democratic president and wins, that's significant wherever it happens. Now, as for November, the smartest people I know believe the nationwide concern over border security and nonstop illegal immigration will be more than enough juice for Republicans to hold their slim control of the House. As for the Senate, the Democrats have a very tough road to hoe, considering Joe Manchin is retiring with his West Virginia seat likely to flip Republican. That means to retain Senate control, the party of Joe Biden and his open border policy will have to run the table in nearly every closely contested Senate race. Places like Montana, Ohio, Arizona, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Nevada. My guess is the Democrats in those races start with a handicap. All right, that's all the time we have to see this episode or any of our past ones. Go to our station's YouTube channels. And keep that conversation going by hitting us up on social media. And we'll be back next week with another hot topic. In the meantime, let us know what you think the issue is.